Extreme Outdoor Products Eliminator Pro, the site that eliminates torquing problems. Hunter's Edge Scent Control. Warning, do not use this product unless you're serious about close encounters. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I didn't know you were here. Hey, uh, I got a quick bow tip for you today. It's a maintenance tip, and uh, it involves a hair dryer. And I think you're gonna really like this trick. It's, it's an old, old, old tip. A lot of people used to do it, and uh, I think maybe they might have forgotten about it nowadays, but I'm gonna review it, let you guys see how it works. So uh, let's get into it. Hopefully everybody waxes their bowstring pretty regular, uh, especially those guys out there that shoot a whole bunch. But there's always one thing I like to do every year at the end of the season, and then somewhere in the summertime, right in the middle of all my practice, and when my practicing, it really intensifies right before the deer season comes in. And uh, what you do is, is you start out by waxing your bowstring like you normally would. Uh, you just go ahead and add a little bit extra to it. Go ahead and do the serving. You know, what you're doing is, is you're going to rub this on, put it on your loop. I even wax my wax my string for my drop away rest. If, if you have a drop away rest that has a cord to it, um, it's not a bad idea to wax that. This is just prote protecting it from the weather, the elements, the ultraviolet rays to keep it from dry rotting. But one of the really neat things that I've I learned a long time ago, it's an old, old trick, is I wax, I can get the wax where it needs to be in the places that you can't get it. And when you rub it on your serving around your cams, you're just rubbing it right there on the outside edge. It's not doing anything but coating outside. And uh, it's not doing any good for the string. And most of the breaks that I see come through this shop happen at the top wheel, happen at the cam, or happen somewhere in the middle where there's pressure from the cams and the wheels and the bends of the string. You know, it really bends. And that's the key points. But I'm going to show you a trick. This is so cool. You're going to love this. You're, everybody's going to love this trick. What you do is, is you just rub it, rub it in your can. Go ahead and get your bow. And you rub it, rub it right in. I mean, dude, lay it on there thick. See that? It's thick. It's really, really cool. You know, and take your time. If, if you can't get in a spot, like if it gets into the spot where it gets down in here, take your finger and rub a little bit on there. But this is, this is rubbing a lot on there. Yeah, it's really, it's really coating it, you can tell, see? All right, then I'll, the most important places is probably going to be the bottom cam because you have these lobes that break over, and it really puts the string in a pinch a lot of times. But that's not a problem. You just, you just do it the same way as you do the top cam. You rub it in, and you get that booger in there hard and heavy. And don't be afraid to use too much wax. Wax doesn't hurt nothing. It just, it's, it's extending the life of your string. All right, I laid this bow in the bow press to cradle it just so I could show you guys how I do this. Normally, I'll just do it in my lap or something. But a bow press, one of the, the bow caddy type deals, that's a really good thing to use. Um, what you do with the blow dryer is, is you turn this blow dryer on, and you want it to be on the low setting, but you want it to be warm. You don't want it cold air because it's not going to work if you do cool air. But put it on the, on the lowest setting, and I think I got this on the lowest setting. It's kind of loud. I'm going to be screaming at you. But... I'm going to show you, it's going to, this is an awesome trick. It's got a rod knocking too. What you do is you slowly start heating up your string where you put the wax on. It takes a second for it to start working. I rub it in a little bit as I go. As you heat the bowstring up, you're going to see that it starts to get shiny and wet looking. That's the wax melting. A lot of the wax is going to penetrate down into the inside fibers of the string. It gets real sticky. You just rub it in as you go. Kind of work your way along the entire length of the string. Don't forget to hit the servings especially. Because that's one of the places that never really gets waxed. The string under the serving doesn't get it unless you do this. And uh, once it starts to penetrate, once you get to playing with this, you're going to see, wow, this is really easy, you know, it's cool. Just, just rub it in, heat it up, rub it in, and you're getting that nice... <laughs> whoops! You're getting that nice internal uh, wax job on the inside of your string. 
Well, thanks for watching this tip. I hope it helps you out. Now you need to get on out of here because i got to finish doing my hair before we get busy. <laughs> See you.